Aripad 200 is a type of erythromycin that is used to treat a wide range of bacterial infections. It is also used to prevent certain bacterial infections. This medication is known as a macrolide antibiotic, and it works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It's important to note that Aripad 200 only treats or prevents bacterial infections, and it will not work for viral infections such as the common cold or flu. Using this antibiotic when it isn't necessary can cause it to be ineffective for future infections. The usual dosage of Aripad 200 is determined by a healthcare professional based on the specific infection being treated. It's important to take this medication as directed and to finish the entire course, even if symptoms improve before the medication is gone. Aripad 200 can be taken with or without food, but it's best to take it at the same time each day. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it is near the time of the next dose, skip the missed dose and resume your usual dosing schedule. When taking Aripad 200, you can take it with or without food as directed by your doctor. If you experience nausea, taking it with food or milk may help reduce this side effect. Before taking a dose, be sure to shake the bottle well. Use a special measuring device slash spoon to carefully measure the dose. Do not use a household spoon because it may not provide the correct dose. The dosage and duration of treatment will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. For children, the dosage is also based on their age and weight. To get the best results, take this antibiotic at the same times every day. This will help you remember when to take it. If you are using Aripad 200 to treat an infection, continue taking it until you have finished the full prescribed amount, even if your symptoms improve before then. Stopping the medication too early may cause the infection to return. If your condition persists or worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. If you are taking this medication to prevent certain bacterial infections, make sure to take it exactly as directed by your doctor. Do not stop taking it without your doctor's approval. Some common side effects of Aripad 200 may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, cramping, and loss of appetite. Taking this medication with food may help reduce these symptoms. If any of these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, you should contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of liver disease, unusual tiredness, muscle weakness, trouble speaking, blurred vision, drooping eyelids, hearing loss, severe dizziness, fainting, or fast-slash-irregular heartbeat. In rare cases, this medication may cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you develop symptoms such as persistent diarrhea, abdominal pain, or blood-slash-mucus in your stool, contact your doctor right away. Do not use anti-diarrhea or opioid products, as they may worsen the symptoms. Prolonged or repeated use of Aripad 200 may result in oral thrush or a new yeast infection. If you notice white patches in your mouth, a change in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms, contact your doctor. While very serious allergic reactions to this drug are rare, seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist. In the U.S., you may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you may report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking Aripad 200, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to erythromycin or other similar antibiotics, or if you have any other allergies. Discuss any inactive ingredients with your pharmacist as they may cause allergic reactions or other issues. Before using this medication, let your doctor or pharmacist know about your medical history, especially if you have kidney disease, liver disease, or a certain type of muscle disease called myasthenia gravis. Aripad 200 may affect the rhythm of the heart, which can lead to serious symptoms that require immediate medical attention. The risk of this condition may be increased if you have certain medical conditions or are taking other drugs that can also affect the heart rhythm. 
Talk to your doctor about your medication and medical conditions to ensure safe use. Low levels of potassium or magnesium in the blood may also increase the risk of heart rhythm issues. Discuss with your doctor if you have conditions such as severe sweating, diarrhea, or vomiting, or if you are taking certain drugs that can affect these mineral levels. Aripad 200 may also affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so inform your healthcare professional if you are using this medication before getting any immunizations. Before undergoing surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Some Aripad 200 products may contain sodium, so consult your doctor or pharmacist if you are on a salt-restricted diet or have a condition that could be worsened by an increase in salt intake. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially hearing loss and heart rhythm issues. Babies may be at a higher risk for a serious stomach problem, so contact your child's doctor immediately if your baby vomits or becomes irritable with feeding. Inform your doctor if you are pregnant before using this medication, as it may pass into breast milk. If you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before continuing. It's important to be aware that Aripad 200 can interact with other medications, which may affect how it works in your body. For example, it may interact with digoxin and other drugs that affect the heart rhythm. Additionally, certain medications can affect the removal of Aripad 200 from your body, which may also impact its effectiveness. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Also, be sure to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are using Aripad 200, as it may interfere with certain lab tests and cause false results. Remember to always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medications. If someone has taken too much Aripad 200 and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call their provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important to remember that Aripad 200 is prescribed specifically for your current condition and should not be shared with others. It's also important to follow your doctor's instructions and not use this medication for a different infection without their guidance. If you forget to take a dose of Aripad 200, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to stick to your regular dosing schedule to get the most benefit from the medication. When it comes to storing Aripad 200, it's important to follow the instructions on the product package or ask your pharmacist. Make sure not to freeze it or keep it in the bathroom, and always keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of expired or unused Aripad 200, it's important to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. It's also important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.